A man is attacked just steps away from a busy metro station. That attack and robbery happened near the Fort Totten metro stop in northeast Washington. That's where Greta Cruz is live tonight with the story of what happened there. Greta. Well, Leon, first of all, the attack did not actually happen here on Metro property. In fact, Metro tells me the Fort Totten station is actually has a relatively low crime rate. There were eight robberies here last year, but it did happen nearby. It happened right down there, a popular footpath that many Metro riders use as a cut through to the neighborhood. I'm not surprised, but it is a, I could see it happening. Elliot Bell takes the path every day. The footpath just a stone's throw from the busy Fort Totten metro station, where red, green, and yellow lines and buses all run. This is a real popular path that goes up there to Fort Totten Road, or Avenue, I don't know, and then the metro, so you got people walking here all day long. But just after 11.30 last night, a man was attacked. U.S. Park Police say the victim, in his mid-50s, got off the metro and was walking on the path when three suspects jumped him from behind, beat him up, and stole his cell phone, wallet, and backpack. Cassandra Jackson says she's felt safe till now. Police also sits here every night, so... A police car? Yes. Sit here every night, the lights are on. The path is a cut through to Gallatin Street and Fort Totten Drive. It's flanked by grass and woods through which a network of dirt paths meanders. People have clearly been here. And Edward Brinkman says he's not surprised by last night's attack. This area in here is used a lot with, for drugs, uh, you know, for drug drops and drug pickups and money pickups and so forth. This park area is officially closed to dark, though many still use it and park police patrol it, but remind people to be careful. Now, police say the victim was treated at Howard University Hospital for minor injuries, but since he was jumped from behind, he really didn't get a good look at his three assailants, and so far, no arrests have been made. Live at the Fort Totten Metro Station in Northeast, Greta Cruz, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Greta. And that